With me here is a Lenovo ThinkPad T14 laptop and it's failing to display. It's failing to display anything. At the time we power reach on, it doesn't display. It just uh, gives some light, like the way you can see. I don't know whether you can see this. It just gives some light. Anytime we try powering it on, just like this, it just, uh, it just shows a cursor and stops at that. Let's see how we can try to troubleshoot this, me and you. Stay tuned, stay around. Let's troubleshoot this together. Solutions to Excellency Apollo University. In this case, two challenges that we're going to be looking at that could have led to this problem. Challenge number one, it could be with the, oper uh, with the software, which is the operating system that runs the, the slap. And number two, it could be an hardware, a hardware problem that could have affected the operating system, which doesn't allow it to proceed past that level of the display. So uh, number one, we have isolated the, the screen problem. It's not the screen having a problem since we have some light flickering or some light being displayed around. So we have a limited problem of the screen and now we are zeroing down to software and hardware. And the hardware si section, we need to first do backup. We need to first check our hard drive and see whether it's secure. Then after securing our data, we'll proceed with other steps. So let's first look at the hardware issue. First, do backup with the data. Of course, you might, you, you don't want to lose your data, first thing. So always start with securing your data safe. So let's dig in and see how we can secure our data. And uh, let's dig in. So before we proceed with any 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 tasks we need to first secure our data which is on a laptop we don't know we wouldn't want to lose any data which is on a laptop so what we have to do is first secure our hard drive which is where the data is sitting and then do a data backup like i've showed you in the previous videos if you if you haven't seen that video please check it out on this link below then after securing the data we then proceed with other uh, diagnostics so let's first do the data backup after doing the data backup, we proceed with other problems. So first thing first, open up this laptop and we shall need a Philips screwdriver to help us do the unscrewing. So let's do this. So let us start by unscrewing this, uh, this laptop. And uh, we have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. We have six screws that we need to get hold of. So let's start right away. Screw number one here, then go to screw number two, then go to screw number three, screw number four, screw number five, and screw number six. That is done. We need to get our preso tool. have to disconnect off the battery and this is the connection point for the battery let's disconnect the motherboard from the battery or rather the battery from the motherboard second step is to uh, make it lose a little memory so we need to get off the CMOS battery as well so we need to disconnect off disconnect the CMOS battery CMOS battery. Number two is so we have to do our data backup here. We get off our SSD drive. This is our SSD storage unit. 
this is the storage unit the solid state drive that we need to back up our data and uh, see how we can reinstall the operating system or rather reconfigure the operating system to see that the computer or rather the laptop displays very well so let's proceed by backing up the data you can get uh, ways if you want details on how to back up the data you can get it from the link below we did a video previously so you can still know how to back up your data so first thing back up your data off your laptop before you don't lose anything so once we are done backing up the data we need to also disconnect most of the because remove the RAM after removing the RAM we need to fast now press we need to press open it gently then press the power button and see if it can press the power button gently for like close to three four five seconds so once you are done pressing the power button you relax a bit and then close back your laptop and then connect the battery so let's connect back the battery so once the battery is connected back to the motherboard we still go back to reopening and then press the power button just once you see it's you realize that it's giving us light so once we are done with that we can just still force press the power button to turn it off then put back our first get off the power button the, the battery again and then put back our solid state drive put back the solid state drive then put back our connect back also connect back our CMOS battery and then connect the power battery So once we are done connecting the power battery, we then get our cover and put the cover back. So once we are done, we have to cover up this cover, put back the cover into its order. Ensuring that it fits firmly. And then put back the screws. Put back the screws firmly. Put back the screws firmly. Firmly, firmly, firmly. So let's first try to power it back on and see whether it can give us some display. Oops. So once we press the power button. It will show that it's uh, trying to boot. oops and it will display so this is how we can troubleshoot the display issue for this Lenovo ThinkPal T14 laptop thank you in case you have enjoyed or learned something in this video kindly subscribe to our channel
support us by subscribing to this channel. Apollo TVST, Solutions to Excellency. See you in another episode. Thank you. Cheers.